All right, I thought I had recorded it, and for some reason I guess I didn't. I thought I did, but um, I was trying to put out there about the fall of Babylon and the wild beast taking down the, the, the Babylon the Great and what it really meant. And they had released information for self, uh, you know, self mastery. And through self mastery, in conjunction with real Bible students, would would ultimately, or by getting the Holy Grail, basically, and can and joining it with Bible truths, would allot the world to be cleansed which would be the fire from from all bad or uh, all false teachings or things that held us back in the past this in itself is the fall of of babylon the great because the cleansing is so important and so strong that there are that that all falsities would be gone all right, the entire world was was lying in the power of the wicked one, which means that there was no pure place. There were more pure places than some others, and even some others had things that others did. And and in the sake of understanding, but the full picture was it did not come together. Now, I believe, is the opportunity for things to come together. Me, personally, I am a bearer of that information that tried to put those things together. Um, and what was important. Jesus said he was washing hands, not elbows, getting the sense of it. So... With uh, something called self mastery, which was released by the wild beast, promoted throughout the earth, people would be able to control their own mind. And through that, and through the universal laws and the spiritual movement that is happening right now in 2021, from 2020 and 21, that this would be the end of Babylon the Great and yield us to go into a paradise a more of a paradise earth for all of us to live forever and ever in happiness serving God together in harmony you cannot hide from this information it is everywhere <clears throat> it is so strong that just being near a person who is illuminated, it will illuminate other people. It will cause their minds to fire off synapses in their mind because that person holds information that is that powerful because it's through God. So raising the vibration of the earth. So in, in this, in doing this, it's unescapable. And something that would be the fall of great, uh, uh, Babylon the Great, and also providing the fire that consumes all men, cleansing them, all right? Cleansing them to be letting go of the old, old ways and making all things new. And uh, bringing everyone into a paradise and harmony. So this is what that would be. Um, it is something that you have to continue doing all the time. It is so important that a person could live forever as long as you did it forever. That means that it would bring about the revelation of the prophecy that we would have everlasting life and not immortality, it's different. Because you can stop doing this process 
and not and and still perish that means that the fire burns forever all right all of the things of the past go into the lake of fire which is the second death and is forgotten forever and and forever we live in harmony and peace together this is that important it actually defines all these things and um, uh, I would like to put that out there in this way so people will understand and know where I am coming from and where my journey uh, originated and, and went through. So with this being said, I went into an area, you know, others went into uh, the, 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 where the, the, where the Holy Grail was, was hidden by serpents and not real serpents, but people who may have been hiding it from the earth. From there, it was investigated and understood and presented it to the world. So it came out of the, the marsh, bringing it out of the marsh, but almost out, not all the way because part of self mastery is still goes into the mindset of some other things that may not technically uh, it doesn't procure or denounce anything that is against God but it is the scientific half so and and other people's beliefs come through this well I'm a extreme I'm, I'm big and in, in my Bible reading so I go in and I take it and I, I shine it up and I understand it the way that Jesus said. But I, I was looking for this and um, <clears throat> also in my uh, videos because I think I went through it. But uh, I know I went through it, but I don't know where it is. And it, and it speaks on the um, uh, false religion and the harlot and the wild beast taking down the, the harlot so in all reality um, with Jehovah fighting through the hearts of men the war of Armageddon and in the low plane of, of the mind in decision making and understanding um, he put in the hearts of, of society and people uh, a way to cleanse themselves that no man can hide from nowadays. Uh, it would be an all in everything that they see and do. It's everywhere. And through this it severs false religion and kills all false religion because any fallacies or things that people thought were important about religion uh, in certain religions will realize the truth and understand what the truth really was mind you all the inhabited earth was being misled so if the entire earth was being misled, that means there is fallacies or incorrect thinking in everything that was in the world. I believe that when this information was released in conjunction with real Bible students and people who are really ser looking to serve God, serve Jehovah, uh, you know, in the name of Jesus, that they could come to understand these things themselves, and the entire world will will wash away the old. My phone died uh, because it got too hot, but I basically said what I needed to say. All right.
remember all these things are in the mind. And uh, that means the way that you view it is going to dictate uh, its authentic, uh, its um, how well it exerts power and your level of faith. Now, its authenticity is backed up in the Bible. All right. And there's many, many, many supporting scriptures. And if you pay attention, and you pay attention to the way that you listen, you will hear it this way. Alright, my prayers go out to the brothers that listen to this. And people who must hear it, hear it properly. Please do not judge. I'm not here to stumble anyone. But it is difficult to grasp put your mind around. That's part of self-mastery. That's part of reading the Bible. It, it, you have to have faith. You have to stretch your heart and your mind. You need to grow. Or else how could you ever reach perfection in legitimate ways? doesn't come with a snap of a finger. It's something you have to work for. So with that being said, my prayers are out for you guys. Please listen to all of the information and take me serious. This information was said that it was going to be given to babes, unlettered men, normal men, childlike individuals, malleable and teachable ones. I don't know. I might fit the bill. So, if you do see that, and it's all in its authenticity, its realness, please, I love you brothers unconditionally. Please keep an open mind and non dark metal. I love you. Thank you. Lastly, lastly, I'd like to speak on um, the effects of these things as so not to startle any one who is not familiar is that the effect of Cleansing your, yourself and being aware of your surroundings. And I mean your your environment, what happens around, you know, to the wind, fire, water. That we actually affect these things through our consciousness and our feelings. So much so that it yields superpowers that are like that of Jesus. So, with that being said, you must understand, have faith, and understand that if this is to come about, there must be a real tangible way that it's going to come about. And all of this is happening in your face. If you did not see it. It would make that person asleep. Right? Stay uh, st stay on the watch. Stay awake. If you were to have stayed awake. Or anyone staying awake. Spiritually. You can see these things and they are very bold and blatant. So, I don't have to be around you to say for you to go outside to, to just know that this is so true that you can go outside, go to a tree, make a quick prayer to Jehovah, and breathe.
breathe and look at the tree and see if wind starts kicking up. If it does, ask the wind to go to the left. Ask the wind to go to the right and see what happens. If that is true and it obeys you, then it's not just me. It's really something that is here and that we all must embrace. The process of it getting to there is what all our us bearers and witness bearers must do. So, this is what that is. I love you. And that is all.